everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem. But last time, we set up our journey with Ellawood looking for his father. And this time, I'm apologizing for the hum in the background because it is once again very warm in benevolence and I have a fan running to keep me nice and cool, at least a little bit. I'll try and fix it in post, but if you hear anything, I'm sorry about that. But this time... After speaking with the village magistrate, Ellawood and company set their sights on Laos. The road from Ferre to Laos pa passes through Santa Rus. Ellawood suspects his missing father must have visited Santa Rus en route to Ostia. Ellawood arranges a meeting with the local ruling lords to see what he can learn. Chapter 12 Birds of a feather. Didn't that R look like it needed a little bit more on the side there? I don't know. Santa Ruz Castle. What? Ellawood is here! Yes, he has set camp on a hill to south of here. He seeks permission to enter Santa Ruz. He seeks an audience with you. Could it be? Do you think Ellawood's come to ask of his father? If that's the case, I know not what to tell him. Tell him you know nothing, and let him be on his way. Yet, I know young Ellywood well. His father, Albert, and I were old friends. I've no children of my own, and have always treasured Ellywood. I do not believe I could look him in the eye, and... Oh, I could not lie to him. I could not. We've no choice, then. Let us chase the boy away. If you do not speak with him, you need tell no lies. Wait! Do you mean to harm Ellywood? Not harm, frighten. A scratch or two will leave no scars. He will run home to Ferry and be done with his adventure. He is, after all, all that has Ferry has left. Instead of entering Laos with a small group, we should meet with the Marquis Santa Rose and request his assistance. I see the sense in that. It is a good plan, friendly. Truly so. I tell you again, I'm pleased to have you with us. Lord Hellman, he's not only my father's friend. I've known him since I was a child. I'm sure that he will help us. What? Lord Elliwood, beware! <laughs> Noble sirs, alms for a poor village. Poor village, huh? You look l nothing like an honest man. It's because you're fat. Clear the road. Step quickly. Or step quickly. <laughs> Good advice. Maybe it's you who should follow it. What? Someone wants to boy in an early grave. A shame if you ask me. He'll die here today. Come on, boys. Earn your keep. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's a lot of people! Here we go again, eh, friendly? Just like old times. Seems our fates are bound. Natalie? Oh, she's still at Ferry. I'm working for you this time, so she's not too worried. Guide my axe, friendly. You know, would love to do that, but there are a lot of people. There's only six of us! Oh, okay, well, what do we got? We got vendor, house. A village. Alright, we should see if we can get to the villages before anyone else. They will not be able to cross the mountains. So we should just go freely there and see what they have to say. Let's visit them. Hmm, you look like you've had some experience with battle. No need to conceal it. I've fought in many battles in my time, I assure you. Let me tell you one thing about combat, though. The most important thing is technique. If you've no skill, you'll rarely strike your enemy. My instructor gave me this secret book a long time ago. It will improve the fighting prowess of the one who reads it. I'm too old to make use of it, so why don't you take it? Awesome! I am a fan of freebies. Alright, uh, we should probably check the houses and such too. Let's say hi. I saw them, I did. About a month ago, Marquis Ferre and his men passed right through here. They'll all gone missy, haven't they? 
group as strong as that just ends up vanishing? Couldn't have been bandits, but I don't believe it. Must have been some jabble. The world's become a dangerous place, it has. Sure has been, yeah. Uh, we'll just move back here. Uh, Rebecca, how about you go check out the shop? What do we have here? Only vulneraries? Wow. Sheesh. Although, my, does anyone ha everyone have a vulnerary? You don't have one. Uh, you don't have one. What about you? You don't have one either. We'll keep an eye on it. Maybe we can pass by the other guys. Okay, this guy, he'll be able to touch the fort, so I wanna... You're level two? Okay, yeah. You're gonna go here. You're gonna wait under the, uh, the, the watchful eye of that place. You're gonna back him up. You can go to the village. Let's say. It's really important to trust your companions, yes? If you have a boon companion fighting at your side, you feel stronger and more confident. Hmm? Who do I think make goods companions for whom? Well, I am a fortune teller, so I could do a reading, but... B b but what? You're not gonna tell me? Man, so many guys. Right, go for it, Botcher. Bam! That's a good shot. Right, they are slowly approaching, so we should be fine if we don't rush too much. Uh, you are level 2 and you are level 1. You need some experience. You're gonna finish that guy up. You're not gonna finish the guy off. Sheesh, Rebecca, come on. I... Mm, no, I might as well give Bartra the experience. Because I could just not attack with Bartra, but then in the counter attack to Bartra or Dorcas, they will just take down this bandit, so... Might as well just get the experience from attacking. Get that level, and then finish it with Barta. Skill, speed, and luck. Alright, let's attack. Bam! Easy does it. Alright, how far can this guy go? Uh, pretty much everywhere, huh? In that case, you're just gonna stand right here. You can follow. Let's wait right here. Could you reach, believe it? Okay, no, I can stand these here. And then you can just, wee approach. And you, you need to get back to the people. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh man, come on, Bodger. You need to do a little bit better than that. At least your weapon level increased. Or oh, was it Dorcas? Could have been Dorcas. They don't they don't exactly have very um you know, different sprites to look at. You move a lot, my guy. Alright, um, let's see. You can attack from here, okay. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna attack with you from there. Come on, man! Alright, in that case, it's you. My man, Lowen. Yeah, that's some good experience. Level 3. Alright, now it's Rebecca's turn, and you should be able to finish him off, right? Six! Come on, Rebecca! Sheesh, alright. Uh, what about you, Elliewood? You could use a level. Eight. C come on, Elliewood! Alright. Well, at the very least, we should be fine next turn. Let's just wait here. Bah! He puts up a good fight for a pampered noble pup. It's up to me to finish him. Okay. Alright, yeah. There we go, good experience. I should probably put myself in the fort to slowly heal over time. I think forts do that. Oh no, maybe not, I don't know. Very least I'll be better defended, but there's a lot of people coming. Holy moly! Why are they all coming from there? How many are there? This looks Hey, what's going on over here? Looks like some rough business. You, soldier, are you guys going to stand there and watch? Who do you think you are? This is Santa Rose! What occurs here is no affair of any foreign lordling! I believe I'm going to have to disagree with you. You see, the man they are attacking happens to be a friend of mine. A friend? What? Oh! Uh... Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. Hoo-hoo! Look at that! Oh! Look at her! Sarah's back. Alright, yeah, now we might be able to stand a chance. Ew, that's terrible! I loathe violence! Nicely done, my lord. You're a fighter born. I cannot condone resorting to force so quickly. Chastise me later, Oswin. First, we deal with these brigands. Come, we must help Elliewood. Help Elliewood? Sounds like a convenient excuse for more violence. Oswin, 
Yes, yes, I'm coming. <laughs> Matthew, take Sarah and find some place to hide. What? With Sarah? No, I'm not. I'm going with you. You are not. You'll slow us down. Oh, how rude. Oswin, let's go. You know, having four extra people would have been very useful, but I guess you're just going to send them all away, huh? All right, Lowen. All right, lots of people are coming over here. I think it might be a good idea to instead, rather than going over there, to uh, just go over here where there's less people. I could also just send out Marcus and just tank the entire ordeal. That might be pretty funny. <laughs> oh, it will be, yes. All right, Marcus, you're gonna tank. Everyone else, move out. Okay, how far can you go? It would be great if I can't, if I don't um, make any attacks. I'm just gonna put you there. You should be there. You're coming. Rebecca, you can hang out. You know, if I can get Marcus to send like over here or something, so I bottleneck him, then I can get Rebecca to shoot him at him from behind. All right, and you go over there. Did I miss anyone? Oh right, Hector. What are you? He's a lord, regular lord, with an axe. And you are a knight. Ooh, I like knights. All right, what's the best idea? I could go to the village for extra avoidance. Yeah, all right, let's visit. The Marquis who leads Santa Rose is Lord Hellman. He doesn't ask for much and he's nice enough fellow. I wouldn't call him weak, but he is more a follower than a leader. Lately, he's been weaving with Marquis Lau a lot. I hope nothing bad comes of it, but... But what? Finish your sentence. All right, as for you... Take them down. Bonk. Haha, <laughs> bonk. There we go. Yeah, go Hector! Woo! Awesome. Yeah, this was expected. But we're just bonking each other and not really hitting. Alright, Ella Wood, don't die! There we go. I didn't think that guy would make it. I guess I was wrong. But things seem to be going quite well over there. Miss. Okay, good job, man. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. Botra is over here. I am just gonna, you know, just keep him there. Bonk. Everyone will want a piece of that pie. Alright, bandits. Can I just hit you from here? Only 5 and a 69% chance. Man, why did he have to go in there? No. Uh, let's see. 11 and 9, 42. You know, it would be so much better if I could just kind of lure him out. So you're gonna stand here. Let's see what the armor has. An extra bow. You know what? Seeing how much I like to use uh, pew pew guys, I'm just gonna buy an extra bow. Can never go wrong with that. All right, everyone else, you're just gonna kind of stay here. How are you doing? You can go way over there. So I'm just gonna go one up and form like a defensive little line here, so I can make that guy come on out. So he doesn't get the benefit of being in the fort. Alright, so let's end our turn. Alright, yeah, there you go. And now maybe Rebecca can finish him off. Oh man, you guys don't know what you're up against. And he's gone, yep. That kind of just goes the way I thought it would go. Wow, he got one damage in. Yeah, that guy's not doing much either. Okay. Uh, Rebecca, how about you finish that guy off? There we go. Awesome. Now, we should get these two to talk. Hello. Elliewood, are you alright? Hector, what are you? Later. First, let's take care of these louts. Right. Yeah, friends. Power of friendship. Okay. Uh, my man, Lowen, how about you go follow your horsey man? All right, let's take care of this guy. There we go. Oh, man, really? Whatever. Let's just move up in the world. What is this? Just a regular fort? Yeah. Is there anything else up here that I need to address? Nothing really. Uh, Oswin, how about you just slowly make your way towards the other guys, and we should finish him off. I would say if, you know... 
There we go. Can I not go through there myself? Uh oh. Mother! Father! Please! Uh, forgive me! Um. Let's try that again, shall we? Alright, back at the turn where we were. That was ruthless. I forgot that Ellie would have such low HP. Especially compared to these guys who seem to be doing like way better in terms of attacking power and defense. Uh, let's take care of this guy proper now. Uh, yeah, poke him. There we go. And then Hector can actually finish him off. There we go. Now there will be no more bad things happening. Alright, Rebecca, finish this man off, please. Rebecca, come on. Alright, I guess it's my man Lowen's time. There we go. Great. Maybe I should kind of back off with Marcus so I can lure them out because they seem to be retreating. So let me just go over here. Who's got more HP? Alright, Bautra. You can hang out here. You'll be the the target of this guy. You know, maybe Ellawood needs a vulnerary. You don't know what might happen. There we go. I feel safer already. Let's end the turn properly this time. Yeah, see, now they're approaching. Oh, come on. A lot of people seem to be missing their mark, which is not something I like to see. Okay, um, what is approach with Rebecca? Alright, Bartra. My man, Lowen. Attack. Very good. And uh, Bartra can take the kill. Actually, hold on. How far can this guy go? I don't want to put Bartra in trouble. No, he should be fine. In that case. Finish him. There we go. Excellent. Sweet level up. Wow, four points. Always very useful. Look at the rest approach. Uh, you guys should approach it well. I don't foresee anything else coming from behind there. So we're fine. And you can just stay. Yes, come to me, you fools. Alright, can I weaken you with Marcus 18 times soon? That's a bit too much. That's also a bit too much. Alright, uh, my man Lowen, what can you do? Uh, only 7 to 14. Hmm. What about Dorcas? You're a bit high level. 14 to 19? They'll kill Dorcas, and I don't want that. Yeah, okay, we're not gonna do that. What about you, Rebecca? Ugh, man. Okay, um, ideally... I would stop this guy completely from moving. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I am going to make Bartra attack with the hand axe from here. Curses! What are you waiting for? Let me show your boys how it's done! Alright, Zagon. Alright, now, Rebecca... You can shoot from here. Alright, how far could he go? Over there, right. So, he'll either try to attack Marcus, which will end in his doom. How far can you go? About the same. Alright, so I can position Ellie Wood right here. I'll use no vulnerary here, and you're there. And then depending on what he does, then I'll react to it. I kind of want to see if I can make either Botra or Rebecca get the kill, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, oh, this was not so easy as it seemed. Sheesh, that still gave Marcus a lot of experience. Well, I'm happy that he got him some experience. Phew, is that all of them? Hector, where did you come from? Well met, Elliewood. Yes, but what are you doing here? You wound me. How do you mean? You're looking for your father, right? Why didn't you send word? Your brother was just named Marquis Ostia. He's going to be very busy setting up his court council. Lord Uther must need your support. You are his brother, after all. My brother is not so weak. Oh, he has mentioned some things in public, but he knew exactly what I was planning, and he let me go. Is that so? Well, then it would be unwise to refuse his kindness. It does me good to see you, Hector. Thank you. 
Could think nothing of it. You know Oswin, don't you? Well met, Lord Elliwood. It is good to see you again, Oswin. So you came as well? Yes. Lord Uther was worried about Lord Hector traveling all alone. I've been ordered to keep a close eye on him. <laughs> of course. Good to have you with us. Lord Hector? Why didn't you tell me the fighting was done? I apologize for the interruption. I couldn't restrain her any longer. Are these your companions, Hector? Oh, um, yeah, I suppose they are. One might have hoped for better, but... That was uncalled for. I can't believe you said that. Matthew, did you hear what he said about you? Me? He was talking about you. Hector, why don't you introduce us? The noisy one is Sarah. Believe it or not, she's a cleric. Yes, I am Sarah, my lord. Pleased to meet you. And that's Matthew. He does a lot of sneaking around. My lord. Sneaking around. Well, I, uh, gather information, open doors, chests and such. I've got nimble fingers. That sounds like a thief's work. Well, don't let it worry you. But this journey, I suspect it will be harder than you imagine. You may have to accept things like this if you want to survive. What is it, Hector? Do you know something? Nothing specific. Rumors abound, though. A league of assassins from Burn has been moving around Lycia. Experienced bounty hunters and mercenaries are vanishing. That reminds me. One of the men who attacked us said something odd. What was it? Lord Elliwood, if I may. Marcus, good to see you. Lord Hector, it has been far too long. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Come now, Marcus. No need for such formalities. Tell me what you heard. Of course. The apparent leader of the gang of those thugs. He indicated that someone was watching Lord Elliwood. That someone needed him dead. Hmm, that is troubling. Actually, a captain of the guard was watching the fight when we arrived. He was a knight of Santa Rus. And yet he just stood there and let a lord be attacked. I think he was planning on seeing you die. So, friendly, what do you think? You might be right. Something may have happened to Lord Hellman too. Come, we must hurry to the castle. Elliwood, who is this? This is friendly. I required, I required tactical aid in the search for my father and... Oh, I see. So this is the director of the battle plan back there, hmm? I saw you die once, but that's okay. You know, friendly, you're very young. We've many strategists in Austria, but none so young. Elliwood, are you sure about this one? Friendly is still a student of military strategy, but... We've received nothing but sound advice so far. Friendly has my trust. Alright, I suppose I shall witness your skills firsthand. Well met, Friendly. Hey, hey, hello, how have you been, Friendly? Eh? My secrets revealed? Oh, that. Yeah, it's true. My guise as a common thief was but a ruse. I've served House Alcia for some time as a spy of sorts. Surprise? Well, regardless, it looks like we've been traveling together again. The answer to our mutual survival. Eee! Friendly, is it really you? It's been far, far too long. You missed me, didn't you? Of course you did, I knew it. Hmm? Didn't I tell you before? I'm in the employ of Ostia, Lycia's ruling territory. I'll be here to help you, just like before. Aren't you lucky? I guess we are. We always need a healer on our team. And I guess that's going to be it for this episode. Next time, we'll just see what Lord Hellman has to say about all of this. But until then, bye-bye!